Two major presidential candidates, Lee Jae-myung and Yoon Suk-yeol, have agreed to hold their first televised debate before the Lunar New Year holiday. In the meantime, they are introducing campaign pledges targeting ordinary people. On Friday, Lee Jae-myung visited Incheon, while Yoon Suk-yeol toured Gyeongsangnam-do province to reach out to voters. The DP presidential nominee Lee Jae-myung has visited an aged apartment complex in Seoul that was built more than three decades ago. He apologized once again for the current administration's real estate policies and said he would ease regulations on reconstruction and redevelopment. Lee Jae-myung promised to create a new type of residential area with a floor space index of 500 percent and introduce more reasonable regulations on height and safety criteria for reconstruction. He apparently wants to differentiate his real estate policies from those of the incumbent administration. On Friday, he resumed his weekly bus tours and visited the Incheon Free Economic Zone to meet with business people and bakers with disabilities to discuss vocational training. The PPP presidential nominee, Yoon sung yeol says if he's elected president, he will scrap the plans to raise electricity fees in spring. Yoon says if electricity fees are raised, the self-employed will have to shoulder a heavier financial burden. He also blasted the Moon administration's nuclear power phase-out policies. Yun promised to overhaul the presidential office to keep its most essential functions only and grant full authority to ministers. On Friday, Yun attended the resolution rally of his party's Gyeongsangnam-do election committee. He will visit Busan, Ulsan, and Gyeongsangnam-do province for two days. The two major political parties have agreed to hold the first one-on-one -on -one televised policy debate of their candidates before the Lunar New Year holiday. An Su of the People's Party is demanding a trilateral debate, while the Justice Party also expressed protest.